So this week, a Florida judge sentenced serial killer Ted Bundy to death. Bundy's crimes shocked Florida and the nation back then and to this day. Eight on your side's Capitol reporter Mike Vasilinda has more. Judge Edward Coward imposed a death sentence for Ted Bundy 40 years ago this week. We were extremely wicked, shockingly evil, vile. Those words echo today as the title of a movie about the serial killer, a movie more about trust than violence. Bundy proves to us that often those uh, who do evil are the people we least expect. Director Joe Berlinger believes the trial of the serial killer began America's fascination with true crime dramas. It's never been more popular, this genre, and I, I, I trace that back to Bundy. The Bundy trial was the first nationally televised trial, and it was the first time that, you know, basically Americans had uh, serial murder, a courtroom drama, as, as live entertainment. But it almost didn't happen. Bundy originally tried to keep the cameras that Berlinger says started a trend out of the courtroom. We're conducting the public's business, gentlemen, and we're going to conduct it in the sunshine. Well, the sorority killings took place here in the state capitol across the street from the FSU campus. The trial was moved to Miami over concerns of pretrial publicity. The death sentence was widely supported at FSU. I can remember exactly when it happened and the, the fright that was around the town. I think it's, it has to be a death penalty. Well, sentenced to death in the sorority killings, Bundy actually went to his death for killing a 12-year-old Lake City girl. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, 8 on your side. Kimberly Leach of Lake City was Bundy's final victim. He went on to confess to 30 murders in the days leading up to his execution in 1989.